And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Renekton Darius. If you like aggro, you like attacking, you like uh, dealing lots of damage, smashing, we have some uh, some good stuff here. So this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be playing um, a real heavy aggro deck. You can see all these one drops. We're going to have Precious Pet, Saboteur, Dune Keeper, and even two copies of Bloodthirsty Marauder. 11 total one drops. I think that I, I like the Saboteur and the Precious Pet more than the Marauder. Um, I, I know the Marauder has the three power. I think definitely think Saboteur is better. It's better to have two power and then also get a free point of damage with the attack. That's definitely better. It's really the Precious Pet or the Marauder having Fearsome or not. And I'm, I'm going to go with the Fearsome. I think Fearsome is a really nice keyword. It's probably worth the one point of power. But I'm not sure. That's something, that's something that, uh, that could be a personal preference if you want to change. But anyway, since we're going to be going wide with our one drops, we're going to have Battlecaster helping us out with our deck that's going wide. House Spider keep us going wide. Pretty nice like that. Um, even Legion Grenadier, another awesome two drop. This was kind of a, a tricky one also of either playing Grenadier or Imperial Demolitionist. I'm going Grenadier. I like playing it on turn two more and attacking with it and everything. But Demolitionist, of course, in the super late game can be better. But we're going to go Grenadier. All right, so we're going real wide with our ones and twos. And then uh, to support those, we got Overwhelms after that. So we only got one three drop with Ballista for Overwhelm. We got a couple of fours because Renekton is awesome, but then also just Crowd Favorite because we're going real wide. Crowd Favorite can frequently be a 6-5 Overwhelm, maybe even a 7-6 Overwhelm. Um, so those are going to be our four drops. And then the brand new Ruin Raider, which has really been overperforming um, Overwhelm and Spell Shield. That's a great combination. And then, of course, two copies of Darius at the top end also just winning games. You know, Darius just wins games. <laughs> That's what it does. Hopefully it should be a 10-6 all the time. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to be doing lots of attacking and then finishing up with these heavy hitters. As far as spells go, I'm, I'm playing two spells. I'm playing Noxion Fervor that can uh, get that Nexus damage in, add that up. And then I'm going to play Exhaust. I like how it just costs one mana. So it's super cheap to go along with the other stuff so we can play it really quick. You know, we don't have to have much mana for this and it should make our Renekton much better because with Renekton, it's, you know, it's it's give the opponent it's unit minus two, minus zero and vulnerable and also give Renekton plus two, plus one. Um, so that's that's great for just one mana, but it should just work with, you know, a lot of other stuff with the one mana. Um, this vulnerable is also important even without Renekton. Sorry, it's important with like Crowd Favorite and Ruin Raider. Because you can take their smallest thing, like they have like a 1-1 one, one in play. You give that 1-1 one, one vulnerable, and then you challenge it with your big Overwhelm, and that can just smash in a bunch of damage. So these hopefully will be quick games. Hopefully we're going to do a lot of attacking. And, uh, you know, let's see. Sharima Noxus Aggro. Okay, we're playing against another aggro deck. Maybe. This could be a more mid-rangey kind of sacrifice deck, though, with Noxus. All right, so I'm never going to keep, like, basically never keep Fervor in your opener. And we don't have any one drops right now. That's a problem. We'll keep Battlecaster. No, I'm going to keep Grenadier, actually. We need to find one drops, <laughs> right? Like, we have the attack token turn one. Let's go. So the real question, so now which which one are we playing? Doomkeeper or Bloodthirsty Maretta? I guess I go Dune Keeper. So the reason why I kept... Good thing I went Dune Keeper, because... I can't... You can't attack in with your 2-1 and just let them block with their Sand Soldier. But the reason why I kept Grenadier over the... Um, the other 2-drop was we didn't really have a hand that looked like we would go wide to start with, and Grenadier matches up better against Elise. Which is what I was doing there. Spears ready. That doesn't scare me. Oh. It's a good job by my opponents. You know, like they're acting pretty aggro too. You know, like a one drop, two drop there. They're being pretty fast, and good job by them of uh, clearing my board to make my crowd favorite worse. Yeah, crowd favorite definitely look worse. Alright, so I attack him with both. Yeah. Look upon me. Good 
They've been right there with me. Ooh, love that card. Love that card. Hate that card. Runner. And that's true, like that's going towards our Rennington level up process. Progress. That's so much damage. Alright, Rennington's at ten out of twelve. That's why we play these big overwhelm things, right? Because uh, the little guys don't always get it done. Now we're gonna have ten power Darius, but for for one mana, like that challenge spell is awesome. Finally, Nasus, I've you down. <laughs> that Nasus is nice. I honestly kind of think this is worth it. I know, like, the whole overwhelmed stuff. I don't know. Maybe this isn't worth it. So we take the hit, we go to nine. Okay. <laughs> well, they'll just concede. Because I am a little worried about taking the hit going to nine. They have, like, a couple of sacrifice things. And now their Gnosis is a 9-9. You know, I don't know. Like Blighted Caretaker. So I don't know. Something. And suddenly Atrocity kills me. or I don't know. You know, like Atrocity plus Mystic Shot. Right? Like, it's... It's... It's a worry. Right? Like, it's... It's a thing. Okay. Renekton Sedge Money. So they're going to have Freljord. That means Frostbite. That means bad. Where are our 1-drops? So I want to keep Rennington. I could see keeping Rennington because that, that card's great. I'm not keeping the Grenadiers. They're going back. Um, I'll send it back. Let's look for one drops. There we go. Hello. I have my orders. This will shake them. Sands beneath me and winds behind me. Rock Hopper. I would have played Grenadier this turn, but you know. Gonna catch the sky. I'd rather have the precious bed have the vulnerable. Ugh! Got real punished. What? I guess... So they're going to play something that's larger, and so they're going to have... You know, like, how this has Vulnerable. Where I go, carnage follows. Yeah. So it gets plus two, plus one. So I could, I could play Grenadier, Fervor my Grenadier, to hit the Rennington, and, you know, like, they, because they're going to challenge this 2-1. So we, we, I could trade the Precious Pet, the Grenadier, and the Fervor, all for killing Rennington. Or I just hit them for three right now. And then we take... F that's them at being at 12. We take four. And I'll just play one Grenadier. Next turn, play Rennington. But it's still my Grenadier has this. They still have that. Let me actually do this. There's a lot of... It's three cards for one. But that's a champion. That's really, really good. Oh, 
We'll see how it goes. So if I don't do this, you know, like this grenadier has. Oh no. Well, that's a. That's a nightmare. I was gonna say that, that that thing has vulnerable, and so they'd still get like the challenge bonus and everything. Champion spell is the two mana one. Ah, two mana is too much. Oh, two mana is not too much. As I live, all will die. Right. I don't want to eat whatever woke you up. Down to seven. It did cast predict. So Darius doesn't kill them yet. Mana wise, it's probably still better to play the Darius though. But if they have yet another vulnerable card. I guess they could have Sejuani, though. Mm. Maybe I should have played... Maybe I should have played these two last turn. Please don't have Sejuani. Yeah, I don't care about that. Good, not Sejuani. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. So right now that's seven. This is pretty cool art, this 3 1. Like this alligator with the writing. That's that's pretty cool. You know, full art. Double troll chant. Whoa. Double troll chant coming in clutch. Okay, well, that's. That's something. And so they know they got to predict the card that was on top, which was Sejuani. All right, good game. Because that's, yeah, because that's eleven overwhelm, and I have five, and I'm at six, so that's exact lethal. Wow. I think I played that correctly. I I I don't regret anything about that. They just had the cards, you know, like they just had the cards. Lissandra Trundle. Yeah, Fervor yeah, Fervor the Face was the that was the other option, but I I Obviously how how everything played out, Fervor the Face, like maybe we we win that because you know they had like that one mana protection spell, and so everything, you know, so it went really, really poorly for me. But I would I think I would do the same thing again. Hey, Derby Chicken. Thank you so much. Coming in here to say I wanted to let you know I'm a fan of your content and keep up the good work. That's very kind. Thank you very much. If our opponent ever plays Ice Shard or Avalanche or anything like that, I'm going to be sad. It's hard to play another thing into this. Ice Shard's the real deal. Being fast speed. Like that. Like, there's already Withering Whale. King of Trolls coming through. Smashing!
Hmm. So I play Crowd Favorite, they play Ruination. So Crowd Favorite right now, four, so yeah, it's a six, so yeah, so it's five health. Um, Ruin Raider wouldn't die to Ruination, if that's their plan. Because Crowd Favorite gets worse, Ruin Raider doesn't get worse. Your cards. I am ready. These fill your cards. Who's ready to wreck I follow the fill your true leader. They have not been kind to me. It's just not going to go well for me. Violence, chaos, and destruction. I have uh, basically given up this game. This was <clears throat> good hand. Okay. Good hand. GG's. One day they will suffer. So it's, someone in chat was talking about rock. How the, this game feels like rock paper scissors, and it's. It's whenever you play uh, very very linear decks, and so that's like the you know the control deck with tons of sweepers. When you play the aggro deck with tons of small small attackers, you know, like those kind of decks that are like really far on one end of the spectrum. Um, you know that can that can even count like your ramp deck that doesn't interact that much. Um, when you when you play like those kind of decks that are, are far far ends of the spectrum, you're going to have rock paper scissors scissor style games and. Um, you know, like we're a deck that's just all we're trying to do is go wide and attack with a bunch of small stuff. And so if our opponents play a whole bunch of sweepers, um, you know, we're going to lose. <laughs> that's that's how that's going to be. This um, can be that same style of game. If our opponent just plays, you know, Fiora, we're, we're not good against Fiora. Right? So like if they just play Fiora and... Um, which they do have, and have a bunch of protection for it, that can definitely be really bad for us. We're trying, like, our best matchups are any other kind of, like, just slightly slower um, aggressive decks or or um, mid rangey decks or anything like that. Um, and they're willing to pass to me. I only have four damage coming in right now. Maybe this is better as Battlecaster, Battlecaster, actually. This turn. There's always, there's always like, cards they can have that'd be really bad for me, right? Like, right in this scenario, um, a uh, Riposte is, like, the worst one. Um, I guess Riposte only goes to four power. So they kind of need, like... Yeah, Flash Freeze isn't great, but... Only hits my Renekton for one. That's so not not the worst. We traded Exhaust for Flash Freeze. Good draw, good draw. That's you know, like they challenge something, I can kill it, do damage to them. That's the probably the best card in our deck to draw. Besides, like, I don't know, huge Darius, something. I figured I'd do that next turn. <laughs> not, not immediately right now. Nothing to hold 
me back? The sun's out, the crowd's ready. Let's rock it! Oh, thanks, yeah, Guy and Shades. You have a donation deck? Um, okay, so now this, they're tapped out. I am just going to kill Fiora, and that should basically be game, I think. Talia Zoe, I was pretty excited about our Talia Zoe deck yesterday. We did face, like, basically the, the kind of deck that we're playing here, we faced this kind of deck four times and really struggled against it. So, right, like, that's what we would like to face right now would be, like, some Zoe Talia kind of stuff. But I think that the Zoe Talia has some real good potential. It's just we've got to figure out what to do in the aggro matchup. That's like the fast aggro. This Sharima Sh has some really fast aggro decks. And so that's what we got to figure out to do with Zoe Talia. But besides that, it, it looked strong and it looked like it had a lot of potential. Okay, we got uh, Sivir LeBlanc. Our opening hand, we're going to cut the 6-drop and the crowd favorite. Um, I could definitely see keeping the crowd favorite, though, right? We got 1-drop, we got 2-drop, and we have... I guess we're going to draw 4 cards before turn 3, which probably is going to let us be able to help go wide. Ooh, getting really punished for keeping it. I was thinking that... But I guess like they're going to be playing like 1-drop, 2-drop, that kind of stuff, too. Maybe not. So if I just go House Spider... And then Battlecaster next turn. Hmm. How big is this crowd favorite going to be? It's fearsome. They ain't blocking with LeBlanc, right? So I'm I'm not doing other attacks because I want to play Battlecaster this turn. Then I want to play crowd favorite next turn. Really? Come on. All right, well, we, we got a trick out of them, I suppose. Guess they have another one of those plus... They got to have another plus one, plus one, right? Like, why else would they attack here? Yeah, so they're going to do the plus one, plus one again. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll just let them do that. Could save five life by blocking here. Alright, good. No plus one, plus one. There's that plus one, plus one. And then Whirling Death. So obviously we're going to fervor the LeBlanc. It's just what am I going to fervor with? If I'm going to use Crowd Favorite or the Spiderling. I guess it's the Crowd Favorite. Cool. That worked out quite well. <laughs> Renek Tun. Alright, down six. All right, burst vulnerable. And I'm gonna keep this other plus two plus two just in case. No, word doesn't like that. 
All right, so this would put them to three. Oh, man, that's actually just not quite enough. I guess I just let them go to three. There's not really any difference between being at three or being at one. I guess I just let them be at three and keep Rennington. Keep a four four. What do you want me to do? Oh, I guess I could have... I guess I could have had both my Overwhelm things. Challenge. Small stuff. Yeah, this isn't good. Oh, it's a last card's a spell too. Another plus one, plus one. All right, so I guess okay. So I, I'm you know, so I I uh, I lost that. Opponents top tech better than us, but I mean I I had so what I needed to do was I had you know the two Rennington champion spells. I needed to give both of their little spiders. Um, vulnerable, and then have my crowd favorite and my Rennington both challenge those spiders. I was too greedy with just having the one challenge. I needed to have them both challenge. I could have had my crowd favorite challenge the 1-1 one, because one, it had the 2 health, have my Rennington challenge the 2-2. Two, two. Um, right, like, so that's that's what I needed to do there, that game. So that game was definitely in my um, in my grasp. I should have won that game. Um, you know, I didn't really consider that line, though. I just considered the, uh, you know, challenge with Rennington attack and then keep the plus two plus zero in case we needed to use it for something. That's what I that's that's what went through my head immediately. Um, you know, but the hindsight's twenty twenty, and now next time, um, that's that's why it's like really good to play. Keep watching, keep playing, because um, you know, like you see, you know, you see something like that happen, and you're like, okay, well, now next time, no, actually use both of them, get get both of the overwhelm things, challenger. And uh, you know, vote, you know, or give the other two things vulnerable and challenge both with the, with your larger units. Um, so you know, good, good uh, to learn, I guess. Um, yeah, because it wasn't. I didn't really, you know, I did it pretty fast. I didn't really count it out and see. Okay, if they use a whirling death or you know whatever card they played, if they use something like that on my Rennington, will the plus two plus zero be lethal? I kind of just assumed it was, but I didn't. I didn't do the math first. And so that that uh, punished me for doing for not doing the math first. Um, okay, so our so should have been three and two, right? That definitely should have been a win, but I uh, messed it up. Um, I I think this deck's pretty good though. And now you're going to struggle against you know, like we we lost to some Freljord, and that's okay. One of the like the Sejuani one, it looked like you know we looked really good in that one, and I you know maybe. You know, maybe the um, Noxion Fervor play against the other Rennington deck, um, the Rennington Sejuani, you know, maybe that one cost me. Maybe if I just do the traditional let them vulnerable, play my Grenadier, let that thing be vulnerable too, um, and have the, the Fervor go upstairs, um, you know, maybe that cost me that game. You know, I don't, I don't know exactly how that would have played out. So, you know, maybe do that one play different, do my challenge different maybe that's a 4-1 and then you know you're you're thinking like wow this deck's a lot better even though it's just two little small plays different on my end but i think this is a really strong deck i do think that the worst matchup will be lissandra trundle i think that's the one the one matchup that has just lots of sweepers nexus healing blockers that kind of stuff like that's definitely not the kind of matchup you want to face that was one of our losses they had you know a bunch of avalanches that's what you don't want to face but other stuff besides that i think that this deck has um, a lot of power and can be really good now the as far as the the cards in the deck go i think i liked everything except for maybe the one card that didn't look that great was actually probably crowd favorite because it does um it does you know fit in the same spot the reddington and then the the format is hmm, we weren't able to go as wide as i thought that we were going to be going and uh, we lots of things were trading off, right? Like, because our opponents were playing, lots of our opponents were playing one drops, two drops as well. So lots of things were trading off. We weren't able to go as wide. So I wasn't really as uh, thrilled with the crowd favorite. Um, 
maybe so like maybe there could be something to play on like at the three mana slot instead um, i didn't really see anything like else on the three mana slot i really loved you could also play this you could also just take out darius and play draven instead and you could play draven rennington and draven another great three drop and then maybe you play like um, like so because if you go draven with this and you know maybe that's just the way to go uh then you can you can still have top you can play like Kato <laughs> for the other top end card if you want because Kato still like Kato and Dar like Darius isn't really even that much better than Kato. So like you could do that if you want. Um but then or you you could play like some survival skills. Um play if you play Draven, that could be kind of cool. Um But I you know you you definitely need to play Draven to be able to play that. But so like what would that look like? So that would be like no crowd favorite, no Darius, and then play like two survival skills and three draven so that's that's another option and then you know maybe you keep your rennington or ruin raider um or ballist you know something like that alive like that could be kind of cool um you know so there's there's some different things are, are like that you know to maybe do you know like the battle caster wasn't amazing um uh, we talked about maybe having the rock hopper in here you know maybe instead of grenadier playing rock hopper but the, Roy the Rolling Sands does take up that extra room that can be kind of annoying. But that Vulnerable, when you're playing Rennington, maybe that Vulnerable is just that good. So, like, maybe this should be Rock Hopper instead of Grenadier. Um, you know, so you, you could kind of go that way if you want. You could you could not play Battlecaster. And you could play you could play Rock Hopper instead of Battlecaster also. Um, so, Rock Hopper and then um, the Imperial Demolitionist right above it. Those two are definitely some other two good two drops that you could um you know play in this kind of deck also depending on what you want it to look like um so those are those are probably the flex slots i would say i liked our one drops precious pet looked good um i liked our one drops um but maybe like battlecaster grenadier and i i would still keep like house spider's just awesome i would keep house spider even whether or not you're playing those but battlecaster grenadier and then your crowd favorite darius those are like the flex slots but i, I really like the the rest of it and think this kind of deck can be pretty strong all right, but that's that's going to be it for Renekton Darius. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Hopefully I gave you some good ideas um, to you know to try out these kind of aggro decks if you like playing aggro. Hopefully you learned a lot from those games, especially that very last game with um, using the champion spells. Hopefully that was um, beneficial to see. Um, but that's, that's all I got here for this one. So... Um, there we go. So that's Renekton Darius. Um, all right. Uh, those of y'all on YouTube, you know, hit that like button, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of it. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.